might well uh, be here a while. We've already been here a while. But we're going to continue being here a while. But even after I defeat this guy, it's still not going to be over because I have to do it one more time. <laughs> after that is the thing. So, uh... But then, then I'll be done with Elden Ring. And then no more Elden Ring. Great. This game will be well and truly done. I don't know how that's missing him. You are such a weirdo, aren't you? Gosh darn it. Got him that time. Why are you swinging down? You're a weirdo. Did, did I not even hit him there? Oh yeah, I was gonna reallocate my flasks. I forgot. Hello, gosh darn it. Hello, hello. How go things? Unless I, yeah, I don't think that there's any spells I want to use against the uh, Elden Beast per se. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, I need to use this. Um, no, not that. Wait, what is this right now? Um, let me sell FP consumption. What else can I put on here then? Um. Maybe. Hmm. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, and... We do this. Yeah, because I don't think that I have any spells that I would want to use against the uh, Elden Beast anyway, so I may as well just do this. May as well just have it be this way instead. It may as well be the case. That also means I should uh, do that to make things a little bit easier. Make things a smidge easier on their navigation. At least. Okay. Okay, skip the thing. I've beaten them before. I can do it again. You are such a weirdo. Why does that never hit you? Seems like a really good game you might like to play, but it seems like for everything incredible, but a lot of bosses seem really unfair. Radigan here, the first phase of the final boss isn't too bad, but the Elden Beast, the second phase, is where things get a little silly. There are definitely a few unfair bosses in the mix. I still feel like it is worth playing and uh, having fun with and whatnot. But yeah, some are uh, some are a bit wacky. That's for certain. What the the, the lingering hitbox screwing me over? Prank him, John. I can probably get like one regular hit before I get an epic prank, most likely. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is so much of my health. I need to double glug now. Well. Let's boobity bop. How are you not dead? Wow, that was well timed with the music, wasn't it? My goodness gracious. But yeah, so you're seeing the final boss right now. Which isn't even the hardest boss of the game, interestingly enough. Um, I'm very good at games, so you need to choose your battles wisely. Game like Elden Ring would take you forever to beat. That could be part of the fun as well. I've definitely heard, uh, I've heard people sharing experiences of, uh, not even being, like, super avid gamers and getting into Elden Ring and, uh, you know, needing to take, like, a really long time on a boss before eventually beating it, but still, uh, still doing so, or creating, like, a build that can defeat it, like, a lot easier or something like that. It's really hard to tell what's going on. Elden Beast here is where things get a bit wacky, because I can't really tell what's going on because of the camera here. When are you slamming down? I'm just panic rolling there. 
because it's so hard to tell what's going on with the camera on this dudo. Oh my goodness, I slightly mistimed my roll. How about I, um... Okay. Oh, can I get an epic prank? I'll do it. I'll get the epic prank! Chris Lamo! Honestly, the uh, biggest threat in the Elden Beast boss fight is just the camera. Honestly. Okay, let me refresh my thing. The camera is the real enemy here. Dang it, there goes my shield for that. But yeah, played every Souls game before Elden Ring, so no, maybe I'll give it a try considering the amount of good things you've heard about it. I don't think that it's like as much of a masterpiece as people, uh, as a lot of people would say, but I do think it's a really good game. A bit silly at times, for sure, but uh, not even gonna get a single hit while I have this, uh, this charge. Okay, I am getting some hits actually. What's this attack? I don't know what's coming. I like being able to see things. Like I said, honestly, the uh, biggest threat in this battle is the camera and being able to tell what the heck is going on. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that I was just gonna get instantly shredded there, but I guess if he starts looking something like that-ish, as close as I can tell from <laughs> the camera angle, start running or something, I guess. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Boop a bop. It would have been cool to have like a Radigan phase too. I think the Elden Ring is the Elden Ring. The Elden Beast is a cool kind of design and whatnot. But the fight itself is a little bit wonky and the camera is a bit crazy. Can I actually hit you with one of these? Here. Well. When are you striking down? I don't know. Gosh darn it! That's another thing that uh, happens in Elden Ring a lot more than the Dark Souls games. In the Dark Souls games, it's a lot more frequent for the enemies to just like be like, ah, I'm going to attack, attack. And this game, there's so many enemies that are like, oh, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. And, you know, do it at like the most unexpected time <laughs> is, the, uh, is the thing. That happens with a lot of bosses in this game. I was wondering when the heck they're even going to attack you. I love Bloodborne, it's really hard and really fun, but also lacks a lot of the typical Dark Souls unbalanced design. I've heard really good things about Bloodborne. I don't own a PlayStation, so I've never gotten the chance to play it. If I ever get a PlayStation, I'll definitely consider playing it on the channel for sure. But I have definitely heard good things about it, and how it promotes aggression as well. It's an interesting thing, Rebob. Alright, I'm just gonna run in then rather than do the projectile. Oh, clip me. I was just healing, man. Gosh darn, I have no breathing room. Thanks, Input Buffer, you're my favorite. <laughs> oh, man. One of the biggest reasons why I show my inputs on screen is so that when I say thanks, Input Buffer, everyone can know that it was the Input Buffer and not me freaking pressing roll again. Pressing roll, getting hit, and then rolling after the hit is done, and then I'm left vulnerable for another attack. I had the same problem with Dark Souls 3. I didn't have that problem with Dark Souls 1 or 2, just Dark Souls 3, and I think this game has the same input buffer as Dark Souls 3. Is what it feels like. It wasn't that big an issue in Dark Souls 1 and 2, but 3 had a really wacky input buffer, and I think they took the exact same input buffer and used it for Elden Ring. Yeah, this is like the Dark Souls experience going into a boss is 70% of the time dying in the first 10 seconds. Yeah. It's a better than average run if you don't die. Come on! Do you mind, maybe? Can I heal, maybe? Oh, I thought he was going for the... He, that is the grab. It just does a shockwave. Well, I can't do anything while he's doing that. He's invincible during that, so... Your timing is so weird. <sighs> well, here go 
was most of my Healy Flask and I've barely damaged the boss at all. And Neo, the second boss in the game can only one hit kill you. Sounds like a fun time there. Oh, well, I got the Frostbite at least. No prank for me, but it's fine. I got really lucky there, though. Refresh that. Might not matter much, but... You know. Still refresh it anyway. Okay. Safe here, right? Cool. Okay. Okay. The LM Beast likes to move to the other side of the battlefield a whole lot. You're attacking at nothing right now, my guy. Can I just get close enough to hit you? That'd be great. One of my least favorite things about Elden Beast is how much he moves around. Wasn't sure when that was coming, so uh, what if I just do this real quick? Ah, oh, man. When are you striking down? You're such a weirdo. Well, I'll refresh my thing, I guess. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's the thing where he does that. And I need to be, like, running to not be hit by that. Oh, you're going after my Mimic, too. That might actually kill my Mimic. Where did that come from? Okay, if I can actually avoid the ring this time. I can never avoid that. At least it doesn't really seem to damage me much. It just seems to uh, pull me in. There goes my Mimic, though. Okay. You're so far, man. Can I get that big prank, maybe? <sighs> and the other side of the arena again. Because of course. Okay. Oh, that timing's weird. Such a weirdo, man. I don't trust it. My goodness gracious. I stop, I can't see anything. Dang, he's doing the thing again. At least it doesn't last very long, I don't think. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hard to see. Why? I was running. When is that coming out? That swing timing is so weird. I pressed B. I swear, is it? Am I never gonna get the epic prank? Is it not happening? I don't think it's happening. Oh boy. 
my last one of those that I'm getting. No, there's multiple rings now! Come on! Oh, I thought that was gonna be the galaxy in front of you. It's a slam down. I don't know if there's a visual difference, but if there is, I don't know about it. I pressed B. Didn't matter. Oh, man. Well. Did not matter. Very close indeed. I gotta do this one more time after this attempt, even. I gotta beat him twice. That's the thing. Also, if I'm not using spells here, I can take off this. I can put on something else. Also realizing. Um, that wouldn't be useful here. Um, maybe greatly raising stamina. I mean, if I raise intelligence, that'll just boost my damage output because of the, uh, you know, the sword that I'm using. So it scales with that. In fact, maybe I should do that. Yeah, that's probably not a half bad option. Probably not a half bad option there. It's like another five levels worth of intelligence, so may as well. I'm not really sure how to roll through the rings of, uh... Of the thing where Bob, when he does like the ultra crazy thing where Bob with the rings that pull you in for the ultra crazy attack. I'm not sure how to get through those rings. When does the combo end? Who knows? The combo ends when Half-Life 3 releases. That's what it feels like. When are you slamming down? Your timing is so weird. Well, prank him, John. Epic prank. Is he gonna be up in time to get hit by that? Nope. Sure won't be. Can I? Maybe I should do this for first phase and then switch to two-handing on the second phase. Maybe, 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 maybe is what I can do. I will try it. I will try it. Or give it a shot. Come on. Just gotta beat both these phases a whole two times. Because that gives me a faster attack alternative as well. I pressed B. My oh my. My oh my. Well. I give up. I'm going back to two handing. I'm going back to two hand in this crap. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I could always just slap on like the best armor that I possibly could while still having like a medium load. Take off these other thing robobs. <laughs> Take it off literally like all the things. I mean, is there like... It's kind of ugly, but uh... Hold on. Bleh. Let's hold on. Is there a good looking thing robot here? Because I have like a decent bit of you know equipment load that I can do here. I mean the armor that I'm currently using is pretty nice. Beast champion armor. Sounds kinda neato. I don't know. Beast champion helm. I don't know, something like that-ish. Sure, let's give it a shot. 
Look, I'm now a knight. Or something, I don't know. Sure, let's give it a go. Dark Moon Great Sword only. <laughs> it's now the uh it's now the play. Alright, time for the Knight to embrace the Lord of Chaos ending. Of course it clips me. Such a weirdo. You're so weird. Wow, I missed. Okay, nice frostbite. Can I get a prank though? Not quite yet. No prank quite yet. Oh, I thought he got the grab. That's what I thought there. But he did not. I took a gamble on that. My gamble paid off. Cool. Well, let's see if the Knight here is the play. I don't know. Might make me a smidge stronger. Okay, starting to get used to the timing, ish. We're going after the Mimic there. Mimic came into this fight with a decent bit of health, that's good. Okay, very good start. Maybe it turns out the real Elden Ring was just the knights that we made along the way. Maybe all it was this whole time. Can you stay still? What is this RNG? All right, ring time. I always get clipped by it. Where? Yeah, timing's weird, but I understand what it is now, at least. I swear, most of this final boss fight is literally just running at the final boss. Is what most of it is. Whoops, I shouldn't have pressed that there. Crap. What is this attack? Can I damage you during this? I can. Are you gonna... Okay. I mimicked here, survived. When are you slamming down? I don't even know. Are you slamming down? You're not slamming down. What the heck? Oh boy, this thing. Do you mind? How do you do this as like no hit? Drink, please. I just healed, man. Oh boy. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Why? was a pretty good run up to that point but then the uh, slightly mistimed laser to the face will be my undoing I've said it before I'll say it again I think these games are fun but I don't know if they're quite as much of my cup of tea as much as a uh, action game like Astral Chain or something like that something that's like super fast paced and difficult from like that kind of thing but in Astral Chain you have a lot of health and you have like a lot of healing items like you don't really need to worry about losing a whole lot but it's still so fast paced and crazy that you get so much challenge from that 
that it still feels like a super challenging game, even if you're not at a whole lot of risk of losing, you know? As opposed to something like this, where it's just like, yeah, well, I guess the bosses can like one slash two shot you, just play near perfectly for several minutes straight. That's how we're gonna artificially make our games harder. By just forcing you to play darn near perfectly for long periods of time. So I like these games, but I think action games like something like Astral Chain is more so my cup of tea. Time for an epic prank. If that makes sense. This makes me want to go back and play more Astral Chain now. <sighs> oh, that reaches behind him. I pressed the buttons for double glug and I only got the single glug. What gives? Should I just do this now? Wait, did I do it? Whoops, I didn't do it, whatever. Oh boy, it's this one, my favorite. Surprised they wound up doing that one so soon. Dang it, my head is itchy at the worst possible time. <sighs> Let's get over there. All right, how do I dodge the ring, man? Oh, I finally did it for once. Just need to do it like freaking perfectly. And you're on the other side of the universe now, of course. Oh boy, once again, my favorite. Wow, it's actually not hitting the Mimic. It's targeting the Mimic and actually not hitting the Mimic. That's right. Thanks, Input Buffer. That won't hit me from here, right? If I could get an epic prank, that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind it. Get some stamina. Oh, that's not the slam down, that's the that. I hate that spell thing so much. Is it not hitting me right now though? Come on. Oh, let me look my runes. Darn you. Dang it, it's the multiple ring. What, it's like sucking me in. this fog oh that's like the edge of the map never been there before please please I beg of thee get some stamina back though please just do like a melee attack yes like that's not quite what I had in mind but okay come on please Please. Ha! Where? Gosh darn you! There you are. Oh my goodness, the timing's weird. Thanks, input buffer. Come on, please. So close. Please. Please, one more hit. Please. Oh boy. Please. Please, just one hit. Please. Whoa! 
What is this attack? Please, just one hit. Uh, the timing of that one's so weird. Please. Jeez, the freaking stress me the heck out. <sighs> so stressful. <sighs> Jeez. All that just to get a bad ending. You imagine this? Oh, I, I turned off my cameras and stuff, fully expecting it to be cutscene right there. This is the thing where... Yeah, become the Lord of Friends. Yeah, there we go. But, ah! That's how I feel. <laughs> I die. Man, that sure was one crazy night. A very drunk one, huh? Well, dang. I became the Eye of Sauron. Seems like a pretty chaotic ending for the Lord of Chaos. Oh my goodness, it's an ultimate eye of Sauron. Much chaos, and there was much rejoicing. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as ye may travel. To deliver you what is yours. Destined Death. So yeah, Melina either dies or hates you, essentially. Achieve my unlocked Lord of Frenzy Flame. Okay, that's... Let me alt-tab off for a hot second here. Let's see here, if I look over at the Steam Achievements, I now have 40 out of 42 Steam Achievements. There's one hidden achievement remaining, which is the Elden Lord ending, and then the Elden Ring, which has obtained all achievements. <sighs> so so no no <sighs> I gotta do it again I gotta do it again now that's the thing we're almost there I just got I did it once just now and I did it once like forever ago now I just gotta do it one more time that's what I gotta do <laughs> 
Oh boy. Just once more. Round 3.1. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get the final ending. I gotta save scum it. Oh. Is the thing. Do I still have the Elden Ring folder open? I do. Let's see here. And then, um... Let's see here. So let's delete the save that I just made. Bam. Gonzo. It's in the void. Well, it's in the recycle bin right now. Let's go ahead and copy paste this one. The save from right before the final boss. And before, uh, you know, before doing the thing that locked me into the, uh, frenzied flame and whatnot. Thing where Bob. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. So I'm at 95.7 hours. Can I get Elden Ring 100%ed? Before hitting a hundred hours in game is the uh, real question now. I'm been shooting for four and a half hours. Almost there. Almost there. Final round. Round three. Fight. Just gotta beat the final boss of this game a third time. It's no problem, right? No problemo. And now I have practice. Now I have practice. So now it should be no problemo. Right. <laughs> Basically. I should hope. I should hope at least. Get in there. 